Hello and welcome back to Laura Fett Gaming Plays Ultima 6 The False Prophet PC version. I'm your host Laura Fett. In part 19 of Ultima 6 The False Prophet walkthrough video, we're going to the Shrine of Sacrifice. After that, we're going to swap out Jana for Julia. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more classic modern games just like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated much more. In the last video, we did get the Rune of Sacrifice. With the Mantra and Rune now for this video, we're going to go ahead and cleanse the shrine. Let's do it. From the Minox Stone Circle, you want to go south. That's why I ended the video there. Probably should have ended exactly at the uh, sawmill, but that's fine. You get to the sawmill. This is the sawmill. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use landmarks to help you out on uh, that. No victory roll or anything like that this time. Very sorry. Now, uh, read the description above why I had to omit one song. I most likely will put another song on there. Probably the victory dance one. You hear in the background. So, uh, once you uh, get to the sawmill, go south a little bit. Then on, look for the path that goes straight east. You uh, definitely want to cross this river. Now, you need swamp boots. If you don't have swamp boots, you don't have to survive the swamp. Until, of course, uh, you have enough reagents or so to cure yourself with the spell magic. That's a circle one spell for everyone. So uh, just keep on going like I am. You just go uh, follow the pathway. Eventually, you're going to hit a dead end. Yep, that's right. Before that, we're going to get in a combat with a Hydra. Not too hard. Now, I call that a well-earned victory. Yeah, the kill spell was really great. That Hydra just got one shot it. And that Hydra did some uh, very nasty damage to me. So, if I face more than one, I'll have to be careful in the uh, future. Yeah, I'm like the DPS of the party now. So, uh, let's uh, go ahead and, of uh, course, uh, switch our, uh, I should say, weapons. There you go. Always be prepared. So, uh, just keep on following the pathway. Eventually, it's going to hit a dead end. In other words, the mountains. So uh, from there, the pathway, just uh, go ahead and follow the mountains exactly south. Yeah, you want to do that because uh, there's no way, of course, beyond anything that. So, yeah, just uh, go south a bit. You're going to look for a little opening. This will get you to a desert. Now, uh, when you see the desert, you're really close. Exactly just like it is in Ultima 5 for those who play the game. If not, yeah, well, I just gave you a hint about how to get to a shrine of sacrifice. So uh, just uh, go ahead and keep on going like I am. If you uh, need to, uh, go ahead and switch out your uh, weapon to a spell book. I'm doing it now because I'm about to kick some serious butt. Also, I'm healing up uh, too. There you go. Great heal. So uh, we're looking for a desert. So you're just going to keep on going east and look for that exactly. So let's go ahead and do that, everyone. You may have to go a little bit south. That's fine. Okay, there's the water. That means we're not going the right direction a little bit. So we'll go south from the water. Now you're gonna look for uh, exactly dirt. It's supposed to be a desert. Anyways, we'll just uh, keep on uh, going. Uh, yep, we found the desert. So uh, what we're gonna go ahead and uh, do is get to the shrine that way. So we're gonna face three large gargoyles this time. You have the kill spell. Try to kill them one shot from a safe distance. If you could do it, that's fine. If not, it's gonna take a few casts to do so. With the avatar with 30 intelligence, you're going to really uh, own them. So, we're close to the shrine. Just go east, and you're uh, there. It's not going to be too hard for me. In fact, you're not only going to be facing gargoyles, also you're going to be facing giant ants. Those are a joke. In fact, the ants are fighting the gargoyles, so that's a good thing. We have arrived, so let's go ahead and kick some butt.
We did it, everyone. We won the day. Yeah, I chased down that gargoyle. That was the best part of the battle was uh, the kill in the last one. Okay, that is green potion. That is poison, so I'm not going to go ahead and get that. I have not found a way to actually, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, use those. All right, I got leather armor. I'm not going to sell it this time because I'm going to give Jonna that armor. Yeah, I'm going to replace her later on the uh, video. I'll explain my reasonings behind it. Oh, a two-handed sword. Let's go ahead and uh, move uh, the leather helmet. I have not found a merchant yet to uh, buy those, unfortunately. I'm going to give that to Jonna as uh, well. This is the last time you see Jonna in a party. Yeah, I'll... Uh, now I'll talk about that, but for now, let's go ahead and grab everything. All right, I am really cashing in on these uh, drops here. Let's see. All right, I'm not cashing in on the gargoyle ones. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything else. Oh, man, they brought like a squad this time to come after the, me and, the, and of course, uh, guard the shrine as well, too. That is some uh, crazy uh, stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. You see a dead body. You see a throwing axe, a throwing axe, and more throwing axe. That's all the gargoyles have. Kind of wish they have spears. Just saying, spears are uh, great to sell. Ten pieces of gold to max in Britain. Just gave you all a tip. We're almost uh, done, so once we are finished, we're going to go ahead go to the shrine, you guessed it, of sacrifice. Now we have arrived, so what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, use the moon, I should say uh, the rune. Go ahead and use the rune of sacrifice. Type the word C-A-H, Ka. Just like a raven or something. There you go. Now we're going to take the uh, moonstone of sacrifice. And there you go. We have total six moonstones. So uh, good news is we're really uh, doing good progress in the uh, game. Okay, that's the pan pies. We'll ignore that. And there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you only notice five runestones because I had to return one intrinsic. When I, of course, I did a shrine of honor. Let's talk to Yalter. You see the altar of sacrifice as you kneel uh, before the, a, the altar. A mystical voice sounds in your head. The ideas serve as an example to all. Do you wish to meditate the altar? Yes. Speak the mantra of sacrifice. Ka. Ka, 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 ka. The universe is so vast and so ageless that the life of one man can only be justified. It's going to keep going like that. By the measure of his sacrifice. There is not else for you to learn here and now. Return when thy journey has progressed further. Okay, this is a very good shrine for party members who are not, I say, spellcasters. In other words, when you uh, level up, you gain one point in strength and one point in dexterity. Only use the shrine if, uh, when, of course, uh, one of those stats are at 29. I say I do at 30 anyways for uh, spirituality. You know what I mean? That's a better one. Yeah, so it's all right, Shrine, but like I said before, it's only good for uh, anyone that cannot cast magic. So what I'm doing at this time is splitting up Jonna's inventory among the party members. You're asking, why is that? Well, Julie is about to join the party. Now, uh, Jonna has some uh, good dexterity starting out, but if you level her up, you max out her uh, dexterity, you uh, guessed it, by seven. That only leaves you three points in strength since you cannot use magic. Julie, on the other hand, uh, caps out at uh, six then she has two levels to get strength up she starts out with 21 strength so that's 27 strength and 30 uh, dex versus 21 strength on jana and 30 uh, dex both of them can't cast magic it sucks so we're almost uh, done uh, of course uh with uh taking jana's gear and transfer around everyone there you go next up is you two definitely drop her off so let's go ahead and uh, do that I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you all on how to get to you again. For, this is for people who are new here. So from the avatar center of the character, move right to. That's how you get to you exactly. So if you want to go directions, go east to. That's about it. So uh, let's go ahead and do that now. So uh, again, that is right to. So let's go ahead and use the orb of the moons. That's a very useful uh, tool, I'll say. Let's go ahead and uh, get that. And uh, there you go. Shouldn't be too hard. And... Uh, Voila, that's one, that's two. We don't want to do one because that'll take us to the void. That'll be bad. Everybody get on in. One stop to you. We're dropping off Jana. He was a good party member, but Julia's a better option for that character sprite. And there we uh, go. We have finally arrived. 
Now, what we're going to go ahead and do at this uh, time, drop off Janet in her house, and uh, that's about it. She'll be a little bit miffed. Good news is you could get to recruit her again. Now, Julia cannot, but this is going to be worth it, uh, I say. Just keep Janna in the uh, party. Let's talk to her, and then you guys say is uh, leave. And that's about it. You cannot just uh, go ahead and say, uh, by the way, you just got to end the conversation. So let's go ahead and make her leave the party. And uh, there you go. She left the party. We could get her again, but we're not. So our next uh, location, Monarch. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the Orb of the Moons again. I'll show everybody on how to pull that off exactly. Now, with the diagram this time, you want to go is south 2, then after that, east 2. If you want to do uh, directions, down 2, and then after that, when you get the transit, go right 2. Not too hard, so let's go ahead and uh, do that at this uh, time. Now, let's get everybody from you to Minoc. So, uh, we'll do that. You can also uh, go right 2 and down 2. You just really want the uh, corner in order to get to Minoc. You was easy though, you just go right to and that's it. Now I'll be doing this for a while with the Orb of the Moons. And after that, I am uh, not. I'll refer people to the Ultima videos that are older. I say more like Ultima 6 videos are much more older. So uh, for now, enjoy the uh, sheet. But from here on out, no. Once I uh, get the shrines done, it's not going to happen. So we have finally arrived, everyone. You uh, guessed it, to Stone Circle. Uh, of, I should say Minoc. Yeah, if you need directions, you just go south, see the uh, sawmill, and then of course you go east. So while I'm doing that, I was supposed to tell you all on how to uh, level up in Final Fantasy 1. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go there while I'm looking for Julia. So uh, in uh, Final Fantasy 1, the original game, now uh, one alternative way is very good early on is the ghost pirates, that's the blue pirates. When you get the ship, just after you get it, they're good experience and such for a while. It's uh, good enough to get you some levels. Go to Elfland, get some uh, decent gear. After uh, that, uh, what you do is you go back to the Pirate Town. Then you go, uh, I think it's northeast into these mountains. You get to a peninsula. That's called the Peninsula of Power. Uh, save your game. And then what happens is you fight them. No one dies. You get a buttload of experience points and gold. Keep on uh, doing that until you get a lot of levels. You really level up that way. And while I was telling the tips and such... Yeah, Julia's not around. And, oh, by the way, that Final Fantasy tip does not work for a Pixel Remaster. I tried that many times. Square Enix finally got wise and uh, fixed it. Let's try and see if she's in her uh, room. Let's look. And, uh, no, she is not there. The one time I really need her, she is not there. Well, actually, I need her in the last video. She pulled the same stunt as uh, well. And, yeah, the victory music's playing in the uh, background. We're almost there, everyone. So what we're going to go ahead and uh, do is hopefully get Julia into the uh, party. Where are you at? So if she's not there, good idea uh, at this time is to check the guild hall. I just realized I should have checked it towards the, uh, I think, last episode or so. Around this uh, very uh, time. And hopefully that is definitely her, not the basket lady. You see, okay, well, I'll not go there, so let's go ahead and type word adventure. I, I join uh, you if I wish. Join me, ye, uh, join ye, me, I, gladly, uh, let's be on our own way. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about Julia's stats. So, Julia starts out with 21 strength, 18 dex, and 17 intelligence. Now, uh, from, uh, from, I say, 3, 4, 5, and 6, we're going to go ahead and get 12 of, uh, those dexterity, so that'll be at 30. Now, 7 and 8 will get her to 27 strength. She's really good in that department. Now, we're going to go ahead and use her for a bow and arrow. You're asking, why is that? Well, just like Jana, uh, she's good at dex, really. That's about it. As for carrying items, yeah, I'm going to just uh, regulate her to uh, light to medium stuff. The priest's probably going to be carrying the skiff. Yeah, you could carry skiffs in Ultima... Uh, six if I remember on one party member or so. So I'm just going to go ahead and give her some uh, bread as well. Jana has food, so John is okay. She won't starve. Yeah, there's no starvation uh, in Ultima 6. So let's go ahead and get rid of the sling. Yeah, she's designated for that. That is real good. And I gave, uh, of course, uh, Jana's armor to Julia to save some serious money. I'm still going to go ahead and get some extra ones for this gift. 
and the uh, ship. You're, you're saying, why is that? Next episode, we're going to uh, Humility. Or I say New Magentia. Yeah, we're going to start that one off. Let's go ahead and give her uh, 108 arrows back to, uh, I say, Julia. It's this way she's armed and ready to go. Let's go ahead and check uh, things out before we're uh, going back to uh, Britain to talk to Max. We got some stuff to sell him. Let's see here. Okay, that is uh, fine. She's okay. Oh, the boots. Almost forgot the swamp boots. Oh, yeah, I have a few extra ones. So let's go ahead and move that over to, you uh, guessed it, Julia. And uh, there you uh, go. John and Julia are uh, uh, decent party members. All I'll uh, say is uh, they're uh, better than the uh, third one I heard. Uh, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, Julia has a better strength outlook than Blaine does. And especially Sherry. Now, Sherry, on the other hand, is very deadly because uh, right away you get Sherry's dex up, then pump it up to strength. Sherry kicks some serious butt. But still, uh, they're a good party combination. So these six are, I uh, know I say uh, these, let's see here. These seven most likely is going to be permanent party members. And oh yeah, if you uh, kick Julia out, she'll refuse to join. Same thing as Blaine. So yeah, you don't want to do that. And uh, we're going to Britain. So that's two up and that's how you get to uh, Britain. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep them all, but the 8th slot is going to be interchangeable, so whoever's there is probably going to be temporary for now, most likely. And we have finally arrived, everyone. We're going to go ahead and see Max. You're saying, why, Fenton? You see these great swords? They're not going to sell themselves. I am uh, serious. If not, I'll do it off screen, but still, I'm going to give a temp. And yeah, as always, Max, he, uh, if you uh, defeat some gargoyles, um, you definitely want Max uh, as your merchant to sell those nice uh, swords and armor. Max will give you a good price for them. In fact, it's the one of the uh, two items that uh, Max will definitely buy from you. Yeah, this is Ultima 6. They uh, buy whatever they uh, sell you. So Max is definitely getting another resupply from me. Let's uh, get there uh, now. Let's go ahead and uh, do uh, that. Okay, there's the uh, guard. How's it going? Yeah, the guards all uh, talk the uh, same. Good news is we're almost done with uh, the shrines. We only got two left, and then I think uh, Chuckles have a quest. I'm going to do that next, and then I'm going to see if there's any other quests in the castle to uh, do. Yeah, and let's uh, go to the shop. Very easy to get to. I'm fine with arrows for now, but I find you know, I need uh, more and I'll uh, definitely uh, go ahead and resupply off screen. So uh, next time you will definitely see uh, Julia, she'll be level six. I'm gonna stop her at six for now. Eventually after the shrines, I'll uh, start in the uh, phases to get everybody else up to uh, eight and uh, seven and eight. I might think about uh, before I do the last shrine, I get everybody uh, caught up to the avatar and get the avatar to eight. It depends on uh, how I uh, absolutely uh, feel. So we're almost uh, there. Okay, we arrived, and there you uh, go. So there is Max, my favorite shopkeeper in the entire game. Well, actually, he's tied with uh, Brandon and Trinzic. He sells magic uh, plate armor and such. How's it going, buddy? Okay, I got some stuff from the gargoyles that I may murder and destroy. There you go, leather armor, and uh, that's about it. And leather, uh, I say, two-handed sword. Thanks again, Max. You've been really helpful. You've been a great pal to me. You really kick some serious uh, booty. So uh, let's go ahead and look at that. Oh, wow, that is uh, very nice. And I just intentionally turn off the music again. Yeah, it's that uh, Hell to the King one this time. That's what I like about Ultima 6 as a content creator because you could, uh, they'll play random music and then you could uh, edit those out. So let's go ahead to the Castle Britannia to heal up before we uh, do a uh, recap for the video. So that's just use the Orb of the Moons up one and that's it. You can be uh, memory uh, that by muscle memory or something like that. So let's get everybody there. Okay. Yep. We got it. So once we get to Lord British, we'll recap. I say that was a very good shrine run. I've been having a lot of those lately ever since I got my act of gear after the Shrine of Valor. And there. Okay. There's the uh, devil. I mean, Chuckles. We'll ignore Chuckles. So let's talk to Lord British. Hey, Lord British. I cleared out another shrine. I need some healing. Thank you, and uh, Julia's joining us for good. Let's uh, go ahead and recap this episode. I had a blast uh, doing it.
So, first thing I did was I did a long trek into the uh, desert by going east from the sawmill that's by Minox. So, I arrived at the Shrine of Sacrifice. Sacrifice a lot of gargoyles. Three large gargoyles died. Oh, yeah, I forgot. On the way, I killed a Hydra too. Same way I did with the large gargoyles. After that, I freed the Shrine of Sacrifice. That's another shrine down. Then I had to uh, remove Janna, plus give her gear to Julia. Julia is now a permanent party member. So, one through seven... They're all staying. In the next Ultima 6, the False Prophet PC walkthrough video, we're getting a skip, a ship, and we're going to New Magentia to start the uh, pathway to humility. This is it for my Ultima 6, the False Prophet PC walkthrough video, part 19, the Shrine of Sacrifice video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. And do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern games just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. I'll go ahead and eat this delicious mutton.